presume that all of these tags that I currently have on my table, they are currently presenting rows in a movie theater. And let's assume that we are currently sitting at this blue guy at this blue location. And we want to figure out that from this blue guy, how many rows are currently in front of us? We don't have any idea. So what is going to be the simplest way we can achieve this? The idea is quite straightforward. We are currently sitting at this blue location. So we are going to ask its predecessor or the person sitting before that, that, hey, what is your location? Since this guy also does not know, we are going to keep on asking the same question again and again to all the different guys who are currently sitting until we reach to the very first position. And this person says that I'm row one. So because this person is row one, it is going to convey this message that, hey, I'm this row one to this purple guy. And then it's just going to fill out that information. Same way, this is going to respond back to the original person who asked that what is your row position by saying that I am currently position row two. So this person knows that I'm row three and this information would keep on getting propagated backwards and backwards until to the very first point where we originally started asking the question. And now here we are and we can actually see that we have the answer sitting right over here. Now notice that there are currently these seven kidney beans in this position. So we can say that we are actually position number seven in this whole sequence. Now notice that what are the couple of things that we did. Number one, we just ask a simple question to from this guy to this bigger guy saying that what is your position? And then we kept on repeating the same question to a smaller and smaller subset Eventually, we reach to a case where we know the answer for sure. And this is our base case. And then once we found the answer for the base case, we started building the answer backwards. And we kept on doing that until we reached to a position where we wanted to get the answer. And we got it in the form of kidney beans. Now, this demonstration might look simple to you. But what you did is absolutely use recursion to its finest and you have utilized all the principles of your recursion. Recursion is nothing but dividing a larger problem into bunch of different smaller problems until you come to a position where you know the base case and then from the base case, you call in the reverse order for the sequence until you reach to a point which originally requested the answer and that is going to be the recursive call step. Now this structure is going to look very similar to the Russian dolls that we are all used to seeing and that is also a form of recursion. Recursion naturally occurs in a lot of different places in nature and it's a very convenient way for us to solve problems. There is a beautiful example of Fibonacci series that is also an example of recursion in, it, in itself. And then the, we can use recursion on dynamic programming. We can use recursion on our graphs, trees, our arrays, linked lists, all the different data structures that you can imagine. Because remember in our scenario, this is the guy that is the last row setting that we did not find the answer for. But presume that we already started noticing all of these answers and all of these results. Now we know that this person was sitting just before this and imagine if we had used dynamic programming to calculate all of these answers and then someone asked me that what is going to be the row position of this yellow guy, I can clearly say that this person was sitting on the seventh position. Then this person also has to be the eighth position because we have already memoized or stored this information in our recursive array or a variable. And this is the true example of using dynamic programming with recursion to solve a problem. Now remember a couple of things. Any problem that you can solve with recursion can also be solved iteratively. But we just did it with a simple question. Hey, what is your position? And then expecting an answer back. 